Hello again friends, John KB9OJS here on YouTube and I just wanted to show everybody uh, what our latest uh, home machine shop project is. This is a uh, an open stub dual band J pole antenna. Aero antenna uh, came up with this with this idea. And this is pretty much their version of the OSJ 146 446 open stub J pole. It's all in them, all 60, 61 throughout, with the exception of uh, stainless fasteners and a little uh, 3H24 connector, which I'm probably going to change how that all bolts up, but uh, that's how they do it. I'm going to make my own design change on that, and uh, that's a pretty. Uh, that little setup here, and uh, right here you got the two meter element in the 440 element, and the uh, two meter three quarter wave element right there. This blue, that you see here, is something called dicom. And no, it it doesn't mean it has a sexual orientation issue. No, that's that's marking fluid, so I can mark off where I need to cut at because the elements are still a little long. And I did that on purpose. Better be too long and not uh, too short. This is a pretty hefty antenna right here. See the way it works is on two meters, this works with this. On 440, this works with this right here. Now with this half inch tubing, I had to make some uh, math adjustments for the positioning of the elements to have proper element spacing because Aero sells theirs with 3 8 inch tubing or uh, 60 61 rod rather this is half inch so there's an eighth inch difference it's an eighth inch bigger but uh, so there it is and I'll pick this thing up this thing is extremely heavy and uh, you can see we got uh, stainless steel half 20 lock nuts on here and uh, so you can see the markings 6061 on there actually it says 6064 huh no that's some that's a part number never mind but uh, probably gonna change this I'm gonna eliminate that Francis stainless steel mount right there and I'm just going to bring aluminum tubing right down to the washer that I made for it and uh, you see it's still under construction and uh, this is just a piece of angle that I milled down and uh, quarter 20 stainless stainless screws going through this uh, the thickness of, the thickness of this aluminum plate is about 312 and uh, you can see how we have the bolts counter something. I don't even have the holes drilled yet for uh, mounting this to a pipe, but this was just kind of hillbilly together out of stuff we had offhand, and I think it's going to work really well. And uh, I think when we get a new mobile eventually, I'm probably going to put one of these on there, rig, a, rig one of these up. This thing will probably stand 100, 10, 120 mile an hour winds easy. So you could really scoot and run from the cops, do whatever you want to do, and not worry about the antenna blowing off. But uh, there it is. Very nice, isn't it? Not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> I think this is going to hold up real well. Calling this the Blue Ox Thunderbolt XL is what I'm calling this. I don't plan to commercially make them, but I guess if somebody wanted me to make one for them, I would be more than obliged to, as long as they uh, signed off on the cost, which I won't discuss on here, but, uh, and we actually make it with some actual angle instead of doing it this way, but there it is, there you have it, and there you are, dual band, open stub J-pole, like the one you get from Maryland 10 only a little bit more stout. Hey, 73s and have a good one. Thanks for watching. This is John, the Machinist, KB9OJS, here on YouTube.